Hello fellow Diecasters and welcome to another insane episode here on Diecast Insanity. Hope you guys have had it. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Hope you uh, have done things well. We had a we had a great time up camping over the weekend. We came home early because of uh, when there was a storm coming in and we didn't want to be up there when it hit. So we got home just in time. It just started just as we were getting home. Actually had to wait to unpack the car and all that kind of stuff. So, but uh, Friday I got my text from Home Depot and the cases came in. So I picked those up. Got those home, we went up camping, and then when we got back yesterday, I got back on Saturday, late Saturday afternoon, because we knew that storm was coming in, and uh, I came up, got them all put up, and got things moved around, so if you, as you can see, as you can see, we've got them all up on the wall here, so from basically that case, and then this case all on here, are all new cases, so you can see I've moved some things around, the trucks have been moved from where they were over there to at the end and I've made a couple of holes <coughs> for trucks that we're going to open today and then I've moved my forge from the top of the curio over here so they're kind of near the Mustangs a little bit but we put them here um, the race cars have been moved to the end we've got some more expansion room there for the Japanese cars and as you can see I've got a couple of holes mixed in through there for cars we're going to open today I brought out some of my classics uh, some of the older vintage cars and we're going to open a couple they look old there I've moved my McLarens up into the cases and we have one McLaren to open there and then we've got some expansion room as you can see for whatever we want to do so got them all up now these are Plano cases um, there is your model number 5324 that's that's the number you need to look up I got mine from Home Depot for $7.99 a piece. And you can have them either shipped to your home or you can have them shipped to your local Home Depot store and avoid the shipping charge and just pick them up there, which is what I did because the uh, grocery store I work at is in the same parking lot as my Home Depot. So I just got off work on Friday and walked over to the Home Depot and picked them up. So very, very cool. So we got that all done. So we've got a variety of cars we're gonna open today. Uh, from various years, um, some premiums that are just recent purchases that I want to open, and some older cars that I've been meaning to open. I just haven't had room for them on the wall. Now we do, we're going to open those and everything. So uh, let me get set up here so we can take a look at each car as we open them, and then uh, we'll have some fun. So let's take a look. We're going to start uh, We're going to start with the premiums that we got, and we'll open those first. Um, I've got three from the Japanese Historics 3 set, and then I've picked up, uh, uh, was it Friday? Yeah, on Friday I stopped at Target, and they had some of the, the fast tuners. They only had the, they only had the Nissan 240SX left. Um, this is the set that it's from. It's got the Silvia, which I already have two of. I wouldn't mind having the Mazda RX-7. I don't have a premium of that car. I'd like to have that. And then it's got the Subaru WRX STI, which... I think that's the new casting. And then it's got the Honda Civic. This is the second release of the um, Nissan 240SX. Um, it was released in the very first premium Fast and the Furious set, I do believe. So we'll open this one and we'll put it on the turret table let you guys take a look at it here. Oh, this one's, this one's sealed pretty good. Every once in a while you get that one that's sealed really really well <clears throat> so really nice car would, would like to have the first release of this one as well but uh this will do for now we're going to put this up next to our 200 sx but still a nice looking car really detailed really really sweet car there and then the three Japanese historic cars I have, two my wife bought, one I picked up. I've got the Skyline, the Cosmo, and the Sylvia. So this is the second release of the Sylvia. I have the first release of the Sylvia. It was in the the hot, uh, the Fast and the Furious set uh, where they did the vintage, they did the paint schemes on vintage cars. So I have that one. So now I have a more stock looking version of the Sylvia. So, 
really cool there. And then of course we have the Cosmo, which is the the Mazda Cosmo, which is the new release in this set. So kind of a really cool retro, <clears throat> very nice uh, sports car from Japan from uh, what year is this? The 68. So kind of cool to have that one. And then this is one of the ones I really wanted from this set. I wanted this one and the truck. I haven't seen the truck. was surprised I found this one to go along with the first release of the mainline version. This would be its first um, premium release for Hot Wheels. Going to be interesting to see where they go from here with this car. What they do with it down the road. But it's cool to have the this one. So now I have the premium, I have the mainline, and then I have the race car version of it that was in the silhouette set. So very, very cool. All right, so that's all of the premiums that we're going to open. <clears throat> I've got three um, Zamax that we're going to open. So let's open those next. Very, very cool car there. I love that thing. Um, these two of these are from this year, or yeah, or from 2019's Zamax set. And the other one is from 2016. Uh, the two for 2019 is the, uh, I have the McLaren 720S. So I have the first release and the Zamac release, which is kind of cool. So we put this one, this is where that hole in the um, McLaren's was for, was for this Zamac version. So really neat there. Not the greatest McLaren. It's not one of my favorite McLarens, but it's still it's kind of starting to grow on me a little bit. Um, I don't I don't really care for Hot Wheels is all bubbled roof kind of thing that they do. I know it saves on production. I would love to see them at least paint the roof to make it look more like it's part of the body, but you know how that is. So hopefully maybe they'll start doing that. Um, I got the, uh, and the other one from last year's Samax set is the Chevy Love. So, I've got a painted version, and now I have the Zamac version. Um, this was, when was this originally released? Uh, where's the year on this thing? It doesn't have a year on there. Oh, there. So, 2015. So this first came out in 2016, so got that. And then the other one that we're opening is from 2016. This is the 72 Ford Gran Torino Sport in Zamac. So that one's really, really sweet. And to go along with that car, we got the Zamac of it. I also have the first ever release from 2011 of the 72 Ford Gran Torino. This is the second color. Um, I believe the first color was yellow, I think. But this was the second color release that year. This would have been what this this would have been the recolor for that car. But it's really cool to go, to have the first edition and the Zamac to go along with it. Put my little documentation on the bottom of it. This is how I'm documenting my cars. So this is the first edition, second color, like I said. So I also have the green um, version, mainline version from the last, uh, the last mainline Fast and Furious set, the green one. And there's also a premium of that car now, too which I have not seen as of yet. So, let's see, what else should we open here? Um, let's talk about this car for a minute. This is kind of an interesting, uh, interesting car. 
This is from 2005. This is a 2005 first edition. It is the Ford Shelby GR1 concept. I've had, this is the second one of these I've had. Now, this is a very interesting car. There was six different, six cars released the very first year that are all first editions of this car. There's three of them that look like this that are a silver painted car. And there's three that look like this that are a chrome car. The chrome car on top comes in PR5s and 10 spokes and faster than ever. And the silver one comes in five comes in PR5s that are either gold or chrome. No wait, they're all gold. They're all silver, excuse me. They're silver and it comes in faster than ever. And the only difference is that there's a base difference. There's a silver base and a chrome base on the car on this particular version. I've had one of these before. Um, I had one that was the PR5 version of this particular car. I got both of these the same year. I traded that car along with a black 355 with yellow windows and the flat white Sesto Elemento for a gas monkey car back in 2018 to get that, to get that gas monkey car because I couldn't find it. Then my friend, close friend of mine, Stan, who's a, a slot car racer who races with us, his dad was a huge Hot Wheel collector, and he passed on a while back, and he, Stan wanted to get rid of a lot of multiples. His dad had a lot of multiple cars. So he wanted to keep the full, the full collection together and just dump the multiples, and I went over and he said I could have whatever I wanted, so I went over and dug through it, found this one and picked it up and brought it home, I didn't really think of it until recently that the one I picked up was a PR5 version. Now I have a faster than ever version, so now both of my versions that I have of this car are faster than ever's, which I think is kind of neat. So I actually upgraded on this car uh, when I picked this one up. I got rid of the PR5 version, and now I have one that's the faster than ever version. I think it's really, really cool. This, this um, If you guys don't know this car, this was a concept from Ford. Um, it's kind of an updated version of the Daytona Coupe. So it's kind of based off of the Daytona Coupe, kind of something Ford was looking to do back in the day. This was uh, probably, I think, prior to the GT, the Ford GT project that eventually came about, but still pretty cool. So I thought that was kind of a neat little story of how I actually upgraded it. Now I have both the 2005 first editions both with PR5s, or both with uh, faster than ever, which is really cool. I think that's a was a really neat, really neat upgrade there. Um, another one I think I'm going to open here is this one. This is the the custom Datsun 240Z or the Faguza. This is the fourth version of the Faguza, um, loosely based on the fair uh, paint scheme from the Fair Lady. Um, of course, the first version was white. The second version was orange, which was the second release. Then it came out in premium in uh, Cars and Donuts, I ha and I have that one. And then this is the fourth release of the car. So I thought I'd open this one and put it up there with the other Faguzas. And uh, it's also going to be closely to the other car that it's closely painted white. Let me grab that one. It's got a paint scheme sort of similar to the first edition of the Fair Lady Z. A um, little bit of a different blue, but they're still kind of the kind of the same retro paint scheme. So that's kind of neat. So I thought I'd open that one. And let's see where. What else should we open here now? Um, Got the Dodge, uh, the, the Dodge Challenger stock car. I have both versions of this. I have the red and the blue. Uh, I thought I'd open the blue one. I like the blue one better than the red one. I'll keep the red one in the package. Um, I have an earlier version of this car, which I'm going to have to take a look at and see <clears throat> what, uh, I'm not sure what year this car is from when it was first released. I have a very, one that I've had for quite a while that I think is closer to the first version. I'm going to have to look that up and find out. But I think this was pretty cool to have this car. 
So I decided to uh, open this one to go up there with the race cars. And then I have another one. Of course, you guys saw this one a while back in a haul video. Uh, I picked up the, the 52 Hudson Hornet. So we'll open that one for the race cars as well. So this flat gray paint scheme. Very nice. Kind of a neat car. Hot Wheels Rod Squad. That's kind of cool. Um, another one that I want to open is a new version. The, the uh, Volvo 4 850 Estate. I wanted to open this one. Haven't had. I wanted to get this one when it first came out. So we got that one. Having trouble finding 2020 cars. So it's going to be in interesting thing with haul videos because I don't think we're going to have a whole lot of haul videos here because <clears throat> um, our, we just got the word today that we're going to be required to wear masks in stores now so that's I don't like the situation but maybe doing a lot of purchasing on eBay here for a while so We'll go from there. Uh, another one that I wanted to open. This one's from last year's first editions. The Ford Ranger Raptor. One of the the second truck that I wanted to open. This is, I believe, the first version, first color, if I remember right. I think that's the first. I think the yellow was, was the first color. I do believe. So that's really cool. And then another one of the trucks I wanted to open is this version of the 52 Chevy from this Walmart Trucks Collection. I also have the Dodge from that set as well, and I have the Studebaker um, Champ Truck from this set as well. I think that's it. Yeah, that's all I got out of this set. Um, the Dodge I bought, we're going to do something with. I want to possibly do a wheel base swap with that truck and put a metal base on it and put... Some rail riders on it which I think would be really cool some of these are hard to open but this blue version is really cool beautiful color beautiful beautiful color and then another one I wanted to open is from this year uh, this is from the C case uh, the Ford Escort RS600 Rally, which I think this is a really, really cool paint job. This is the one that there is an ID version, a uh, Chase ID version of as well. That you could that you could find, I think, also from that same case. Come on, man. Got a bunch of cars that are hard to open. This will go right up under the two premium versions I have in the Ford in the with the Fords. I've got the uh, Fast and the Furious one and the one from um uh door slammers that's it up there so we'll put this one up there with that so that one's really cool love that one i also i have quite a few versions of that car now i think i've got let's see one two three four five i've got six which include the very first edition which i'm not going to open because that's um that's in my fast and the furious carded sets so i'm not going to open that one but Another one I want to open is this 2016 version, the first edition of the Ford Focus RS. I believe this is the first color. Um, I think the second color might have been red. But I love this blue. This blue is a really cool color. I'll have to look it up when I document them. But um, I, I've been documenting my cars like I showed you on this one. On this one it says 2011. Mainline, first edition, and then it says second color. So they're, they're all documented as to if they're a first release, if they're a mainline. I'm also starting to put on these um, what, what release it would be in the line of releases. So like this car here will have um, mainline. Um, this was a 2016 release. What was this? Let me see. Where did, the, where did its card go? Where did its card go? There we go. Uh, no, 2018 release, and this would have been the fourth release of the Faguza. 
So I'm also documenting that as well. So you get you can figure out, I can look at the bottom of my car and go, oh, okay, so this was the fourth ever version of the Faguza. So it's kind of a neat way to catalog my cars. Um, let, and you know, and you know, whether it's a Zamac, whether it's a Walmart exclusive, whether it's a Target exclusive, whether it was in a Walmart exclusive set, that kind of stuff. So I know where all my cars came from, like the 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 all my premium cars, they'll have CC for car culture. And then it'll have this one will have GH3 on the bottom of it, which would be from Japanese Historics 3. And then it'll have first edition because this is the very first edition of the Cosmo. So it's kind of a neat it's a neat way to document all my cars so I don't have to look them up. If I do a video, all I gotta do is turn the car over. I can tell you guys when it was released, what release that particular car is, and and how many, you know, if it's like the third release of that car or whatever so that's that's kind of a neat way to, to document them as well um i've got two of the teslas that i want to open the model s which i think this is probably this is from 2016 uh, i think this is probably the second release of the tesla model s it might be the third i'll have to look it up I still haven't got my my catalogs yet, my uh, price guides, my Tomart price guides yet. They're still, they might be here this coming week. So I'll uh, show you guys those when we get them. I want to put these Teslas in the cases as well. These are probably the two of the best um, Teslas that I think Hot Wheels has done so far. Um, this is Model 3. This is the first edition from last year. I also believe this is the first color. I think white was the first color as well. It's kind of cool to have both of these in the traditional Tesla white. So that's kind of a neat, neat thing as well. So that's pretty cool. So I like that one as well. So we need to have those up there finally. And let's open some classics. Um, some of these are kind of old. Um, these are go with the these will go up there with the doozy and the caddy. Uh, Cabriolet and the Mercedes. Um, let's start with this one here. This is from 2013. This is the custom Cadillac Fleetwood, the very first edition. Um, I can't can't remember if this is a first or second color. Um, it was released twice that year, I think, in black, and then in, I believe the other color is red because I think Elijah has that car. Been wanting to open this one for a while wanted to add a kind of a classic car section to the planos and uh, cuz I'm I'm partial to some of these cars especially if they're done like this one is done I think this is done very very nice by Hot Wheels kind of a custom a custom caddy but still very very beautiful very sleek very nice car and the other one, one of the other ones I wanted to open is the Great Gatsby from 2015. This is the first edition with the Mac tools on it. Been kind of looking at this car maybe to do um, a custom with down the road. Thought this might be kind of sweet for a custom idea. Make it a little more um, hot rod-ish and throw some real riders on it and do some some cutting and and stuff to it to make it look even nicer so i thought that might be kind of neat so that's kind of cool and then another first edition that i have from 2018 i thought we would would throw the corella deville up there because it's got that same 1920s 30s um vintage classic car look to it this one has the five spokes. This was also the year that it was a premium. This was from the Q case. From uh, 2019, 18. So I thought I'd open that one. Which is very, very nice. And then another one I thought I'd open is... And this is so this is going to be... This will be our last car. Um, this is the final run version of the Auburn 852. Um, I've had the, the first version of this car, but it's missing a fender. Um, it was my brother's car, I believe. And I kind of absconded with it when he has lost his interest in Hot Wheels. And somehow the fender got broke on one side. Didn't bend the wheel, but got the fender broke. So I looked up this car. This is the final run. This is from... Um, what is this from? This is from uh, 2004. 
So I thought I'd open it. I looked it up on eBay first to make sure this wasn't a real spendy car, which it's not. You can pick this car up for $1.50 on eBay. So I thought I'd open this one to put it up there with the classics. It'd be nice to have the, the original red with um, tan fenders, uh, which is what the first edition color is to go along with it. But uh, that would be kind of cool Good to have that one. But that's really sweet. So there's what we. this is what we opened. Um, very nice cars, some older cars, some newer cars. It's still going to give us some room to expand on the wall and, uh, you know, make some more space. We got some more space for some more cars. And uh, we, can, we can, I don't have to, you know, stack them up and put them, put, them in the, uh, put them in the crate anymore. We can put a few up. As you can see, though, I'm going to be hurting. I got a space here for two more cases. Probably put one here underneath this one. And then, if we want to put up even any more, we're probably going to have to take down all the carded car culture stuff in the supers and uh, do something there. But we're also talking, we've also, we're also been looking for a new place to move to, so um, that may change. These, what's really cool about these cases, though, is all you got to do is take them off the wall, turn the cars down, put the lids back on them, put them on there, and you stick them in a box and you're ready to move. So, it, it makes moving a lot easier when they're already inside cases like this. You just take them off the wall and unscrew the screws out and you're ready to go so hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you enjoyed the cracking cracking video and uh, everything and uh be on the lookout for a three for thursday i'm working on one of those i'm gonna be filming it today and uh be on the lookout next week for i believe we'll have to do a bi-weekly next week so be on the lookout for that I'll hopefully maybe i can coach elijah into doing a bi-weekly and he can put one of his cars and do it and uh we'll just have some fun so keep on hunting keep on looking for what you're looking for and remember Leave some on the page for the collectors in your area. Stay healthy, have fun, enjoy the hobby, and we will catch you guys later. Bye. I'm out.